Right, <laughs> right guys, here we are, episode two of the Big Oz build. We are putting in one of our biggest major mobs to date. So, what it actually is, it's a system from Forby Fitouts. Uh, basically, it's just a false floor that replaces all the back seats in the back of here. Um, and then we've got a fridge slide on one side, and then a drawer system on the other. And then on top, it's just a nice big sort of storage area. So. This is going to be a major sort of upgrade for us and going forward for just storage and you know putting camera gear and fridges and all that sort of stuff in the back so yeah this um this replaces the canopy basically <laughs> yeah this is our new version of the canopy but in a wagon version um and fun facts for you as well this system cost us three thousand one hundred and seventy five plus shipping just to get to where we were and um, it's basically pre-made and you can put it in yourself so it lines up with every bolt. It's just, yeah, it's really simple. So hopefully we should be able to do it fast. Yeah, it's probably the biggest reason why we went this one is because yeah. it's super simple, super easy, and basically just swap straight in on top of the existing bolts. The thing is crossed, it actually does. <laughs> yeah, I think the hardest part is gonna get these uh, seats out, but we'll yeah. see how we go, it shouldn't be too hard. Let's get it stuck in, eh? I wake up, flex, I'm down that check, no drip this, tell him run it up, no sleep, no rest, might crash, might wreck, but first die, stretch, tell him run it up, I wake up, flex. So I found our instructions, DIY fitting instructions, Y62. I don't know what the LP40 means. Oh, because it's a 40 litre setup, the 40 litre fridge setup. Hey guys, thanks so much for choosing us. We're looking forward to seeing your adventures. Enjoy and chat soon. From Jackie, oh, that's cool. Personalized. Another sticker. So we got instructions. That's cool. There is no need to drill vehicles or floor. That's cool, it's got instructions the whole way through, baby. Cool, we're good to go. I think I've taken this baby seat out about three or four times now. And we've had the car, what, two days? <laughs> we've had the car two days. It's all the running around and dropping this car off to get certain things done. We just got the tent done there yesterday, so we had to drop it off for about three hours. So we had to swap the seats out, back into the Ranger, go and do some shopping, do a few things, and then come back and swap it back in. Here I am again, pulling it out again. The tool bag. That used to take me a long time back in the day, but I've done it so many times now that I'm pretty much an expert at it. Just that. FYI, these seats are like the coolest thing ever. What are they, tumbling, tumbler seats or something? Do they have a name? I don't know. I'm sure they do, but I can't think of it. I didn't know they were if they had a name. Like, literally. Bing! <laughs> That's cool, I could do that all day. So, first roadblock. Joys of being on the road and having limited tools. So I've just found on here, I had a 17, which is too big. And I went to try the next one, and it's a 15. So I don't actually have a 16, the one I actually really need. <laughs> so not only do I have not the right socket, and the extension, I can't do absolutely bugger all. So. Right. I'm going to do a quick rundown of trade tools and grab a couple of pieces and I'll be back. It's only literally like 10 minutes down the road, so I'll scoot on down there real quick. I'll grab some tools and I'll come back and we can get stuck in. Once we leave Cairns, we don't even have access to trade tools anymore unless we go online. So all our trade tool shopping will become online. So yeah. it's kind of cool actually because this is the furthest north trade tools out of any of the stores. Any of them, yeah. And they don't get visitors very often. So no. <laughs> Chris being one of the like... What do you call them? Sort of an influencer, I guess. Ambassador, Ambassador. influencer, whatever it is. They probably yeah. don't see many of them, so they'll be like, oh, hello. <laughs> Socket sets, there they are. You can see them in the back. So basically you need the half inch extension. And the 16, so I can get this bloody thing down. Yeah, plenty of uh, options here, that's for sure. We are good to go. Righto, we're back. I've got the right pieces, got the right tools. Time to get the rest of this bloody setup out. Wow, 
one piece. Two piece. Now we're getting somewhere. So it's, what's the time? Let's have a look. 10.30. And Jack hasn't slept yet. He very, normally sleeps at nine. In a very big sleeping though. Yeah. Bigger but, than he's ever had. What, 7.30? Yeah, that's pretty good. He normally I felt very about refreshed. Six, 6.30, so that's like a whole hour longer. I tried to put him to bed around nine because he seemed a bit tired, but it's like he's just gone straight past it. I am not him being here as long as he's happy. Yeah. You know when he's not happy because he starts this high pitched screaming now and it does our heads in. A bit like that, but that's a happy one. So these two bolts here, they look like this before you start. So basically these little plastic pieces just clip straight off nice and easy, which exposes the bolts and then straight on. Him. Yeah. I don't well, most of them need to go back in anyway, so. Yeah, well, they just said to make sure that they're all on there because it helps with the waterproof and tightness and whatever. And oh, yeah. This is probably a good reason for why they're there. Jack's trying to do it now, too, because he's <laughs> watching me. Yeah. Second chair down. Now we got some bulk room. My God, it looks so big and empty. That is the same size as the canopy. Pretty much, isn't it? Like, that's probably bigger, or at least higher. Probably a little bit more narrow, but definitely almost quite the same height. Definitely price. this way. Yeah, sort of width ways, or length ways. Are you glad you sat in them just that once? Well, that's why I jumped in there the other day, because I was like, this you is the, the first, had a beer. first and last time I'll ever sit in the back seat of this car. <laughs> They are really cool with the cup holders. I can just imagine being chauffeured around with a few beers in the back, fridge in the back. Not in this car. No. Da -da. Right, time has finally come to open the big box. Ta-da! Remove red screws. Oh yeah, one. Oh yeah, so that's two, what's three, four, five. attached to everything. Cool. It doesn't look like much, but I guess that's, well, that's the best the part of it. Well, that's the whole floor, the false floor there. Yeah, the that's really it. cool. Mm. Uh, before we fit out, so they did us an absolute solid because we called them about three weeks before we turned up here and these take four to five weeks to actually manufacture and get out to you. And we're like, hey, we're doing a car build series, you know, we'd love to have it in there and that. And she's like, oh, I'll have to see what I can do. So we were really, really lucky that we actually had this in time so we could put this in straight away. So thank you, Forby Fit Outs, for being amazing and Jackie for all your help. It was really good, hey. Yeah, big shout out to everybody that's involved in this build. Like, everybody's been super helpful. Yeah. They've been on the ball, on the go the whole time, trying to get everything sort of sorted for us. And we really, really appreciate yeah. everything that everyone's done for us. So With COVID, it's just everything takes 10 times longer and everyone's yeah. really tried to help us out so we can get it here because we're on such a time constraint while we're in Cairns to get it all done. So, yeah, yeah we're so thankful. Thank you. Yeah, of all the times for, to get parts is probably the worst time this year to be doing it and but here we are building a car yeah we're like... building a car on the road <laughs> so yeah big yeah. shout out to all you guys out there that's helped awesome. us with this let's show you this real quickly so our bulk kit handwritten in glad sandwich bags so they have all the nuts and bolts that are required for the build and who picked them which is really cool and then look fridge slide what else? pocket i don't know totally what that means yet drawer Drawer, drawer, and four. So I guess these ones we'll need first. How cool is that? Like someone's physically sat in a shed or a warehouse or wherever it is, and they've picked all the pieces for us in Australia while it was made in Australia. That's the coolest thing about this. It's Australian. 
And if you're short on screws, there's quite a few in here that you can reuse again, which I probably will. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have a toolbox like us, <laughs> with extras everywhere. I'll try and save all the screws I can. They come Thanks, Bobby, for that. Do this. Any idea what that hatch is for? Place your bets, and we'll tell at the end. Back in the beginning when we were first looking at what sort of fit out we wanted to look at, I saw this company and the original owners, who I believe, I'm pretty sure they're still a part of it, I'll have to check that, but the original owners used to do touring similar to what we're doing and they wanted to build a fit out that suited their needs and then from there they turned this into a business. So yeah. the people who started it were doing exactly what we're doing, so they know what people's needs are and wants are. And you know, well, it's kind of like, like that's cool. It's kind of like what we did with the original build with the Rangers. Yeah. We built it, we used it, we tested it, we did all that sort of stuff. But they turned that into a business. Yeah. If we were staying at home and you know living a normal life, it's something we probably could have looked into. But canopy building. Yeah. For affordable prices. But it's good to know that people with the knowledge and doing all the testing themselves you know they're going to produce good products so yeah this is a, another good reason why we chose this because of the quality and the, the history behind it too so yeah australian and it's australian can't beat it all right Let's see how good this fits and it just goes over your bolt point. So this is one of the factory bolts that was there holding in the chair that just goes straight on top of it. There we go. Is it working? Much better. Yeah. So by the look of it, you have to be a little bit firm. So everything lined up, it was just one little piece, that little L bracket there that goes onto that last bolt. I think it was just out by a couple of mil. So I just had to give it a little bit of a love Love tap in, but yeah, everything fits in bloody nice. It's yeah, quite good. Quite good. It's really good. It's really good, yeah. Perfect spot for the battery right there. Can I have my drill? And then please? the DC to DC will go here, and all this extra space underneath will be for storage or anything really. It's yeah. cool. How cool is that? That's really cool. It, it literally just bolts in. Mm. I can't wait to get all the rest of it in there because it's going to look unreal. Yeah. So a quick little look, in here I've seen a few people do storage setups with like air compressors, snatch gear, all that sort of, all that sort of gear in there, which is a heap of room. So it's basically just sits in behind this chair when that's down, so it's a nice little hidey hole. And then the next one over here is built to fit a battery in. So it fits most size batteries. We've got a Energive 125 amp hour battery that's going to fit perfectly in there. So we made sure that this was going to fit before we bought it. We hit them up, we asked them what we had and if it would fit and they said it should fit just snug. So it looks like it should be a, a nice little uh, setup there. So we'll find out when we put the battery in. But other than that, there's a ton of storage at the back here where Sean's got the tools at the back. He's even more storage. We'll show you at the very end a nice little uh, trap door set up that they've put into this. That's the one I asked about. I yeah. said, what's it for? Which is going to be really cool and handy as well. And yeah, halfway there, getting there. It's looking really good. Super simple. Couldn't get any bloody easier if you tried. So cool. So I said you're best off starting with the ones at this package, these movable ones, put a Phillips head through, find the hole, attach them, yep. and the rest will line up. 
pretty crazy they can make something like this and it just fit. Yeah, to be so precise and on point. It's a real credit to them. Yeah. Look at all our piles of crap. Oh yeah. Oh, it's just everywhere at the moment. I thought we had some crap here the last few days with other things that we've been selling. We got rid of but all this, that and now we've got new piles. This is next level. It's like buying a big TV or like a lounge chair and the, the cardboard boxes that comes out of this. We've got four boxes of crap. So it's going to be fun trying to get rid of this. This is the drawer. <laughs> That's why I've been sitting here so silently, guys. Yeah. I've just been like, oh. Assessing. I'm not entirely sure what's happening here, but it all makes sense now. It always makes sense eventually. Eventually. So, and you're going to do the same and be like, oh, right. I will. I can see a lot of pieces. I'm like, no idea what's happening, but I'm sure they're all going to line up and make sense. You get it sooner or later. Oh god. Working with blocks. I was sometimes. thinking we were using putting the wall on, not this piece. Just these two little clips here. I've never seen it done before, but such a great idea. They're just like little gate latches. So you gotta make sure that one's open. And then you basically just pull this and that releases the whole drawer out. So if you let that in, lock that, she's in there. What a great idea. So easy to get in and out. A really 
cool feature about this is this big old chopping board looking thing. So let's open this real quick. It slides in perfectly inside. Actually locks the drawer in place. And it's a nice little table. How about that? Prepping area, chopping, cooking, this drinking. This like a little thing in it, I guess. I don't know why. But the other side, you can use the other side too. It's just plain. Yeah. Really cool, isn't it? Cool. Nice. Handy little table. Yeah. Just down the side here. So it's got little, little brackets. Just slide straight in. Yeah. And this will just sit next to the fridge, so it's not in the way or anything. But at, the end, the at the end there, there's like a little rubber knob there. So oh, when it hits place. that, it goes up, so it actually locks it in. So you shouldn't have too many dramas of it sliding in and out which I thought would have been the first thing to think about, but yeah, really nice, neat, tidy and practical. It's good. We're all about practical. This is on a bit of a lean, it's leaning forward and that slides, which would be a bit of a pain in the ass if you pull it up on the tracks or which you pull it up on the beach or whatever. But I've just looked inside, I've just pulled it apart, but we had the keys hanging here and this. <laughs> Little door stop. It literally just wedges in. Happy days! No hands, Mum. Look How no cool is that? It's got to make sure we don't ever lose that. <laughs> It'll live in this drawer somewhere. But that's really cool. I might even get another one just to really you make just sure. just get like a little holder and put it in here or something. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, just a little there. bit of Velcro or something. Oh, I've got some Velcro in there. I can just thing on it. Yeah. Very cool. Jeez, I'm loving this system more and more. Eh? So good. Yeah, as we build it, we find little things that are cool. Yeah, about. like this is our first time seeing this as it comes together, but so Around far, pictures. it is amazing. It's really cool. And then all these little like built-in flats already. Yeah, little storage compartments, which is really cool. We might have some uh, goodies going in there, which you'll see later on in the mm. um, upcoming episodes. All right, fridge slide to go in. It's amazing like that we only chose this off photos and yet to have it in person it's like even better than you imagine eh? it's like, it's, oh. like the quality of it everything else it looks like someone's gone into a shop and have yeah. this fully fitted out fully customized cut everything yeah. like you'd expect this to be like thousands and thousands of dollars worth of gear but the fact that it's been yeah we purchased it offline got it delivered to us yeah and we've installed it like it's not but that's the hard other thing. at all you get the feeling of the fact that you've built it yourself even though you yeah, haven't built it you've built it yourself like there's it's nothing really cool. in here that we don't understand whereas if someone else did it there's things we wouldn't understand yeah because we put it together it's really cool it's yeah this is everything we wanted like super yeah. simple super quick and easy but we didn't need quality, to buy a jigsaw yeah the quality is there like literally just a couple of spanners yeah couple bolts and away you work away you go that's right yeah it's awesome i'm, I'm so it. happy this is like it's awesome it is cool so these the pockets carpet and the bloody counter. these don't have lids or they do well i think this is just little open bins yeah cool shut in. yeah they are actually looking at the picture mm. which is right it's good easy access So basically said to do your two front bolts. <laughs> Look at that. That's for snug. Fitting it. So you do your two front bolts and then you just bring it out just enough to get to the back ones. Look at all that storage space at the back. That's where you can put your water if you want water. Well, that's the other yeah. that's what, uh, thing of this system was. You could put a 20 litre jerry can in there. I don't know if you can see just how much room is in there. Yeah, you could fit a good 20 litre jerry in there, easy. <laughs> Oh. We might have to take the case off it. We knew that the fridge itself fit. Oh, she's snug. That couldn't have been any more of a better fit if we tried. Oh, it fits. Even with the insulation bag on. So initially, we went for the 50 litre design 
Um, and then she said, can we just check your measurements? Because you might be able to get away with the 40. And if you can get away with the 40, then that's why they could get it out to us in such a short amount of time. So we measured all the fridge and that inside here. And the fridge definitely fits, but I think this is just what make it's making it a little bit tighter. That's all. Yeah, well, that's another the five, yeah. five mil of material on insulation. we take it off then? Do we need it? I don't know. Fits. We can still get the thing out. Is this stuff. always going to go like this and be annoying? And Even if it does. Okay. So, completed, done, finished, checked off. How awesome is that? Do you remember their little, uh, what do you call it? Secret hatch. What do you call it? No, what are they called? A boogie... Trap door. Trap door. That was like a boogie hole. I was like, <laughs> a, a boogie, boogie? hole. <laughs> I hope it's not full of Trap boogies. Door. Here it is. Here it is, in behind. You want to know what's going to be in there? A jack. <laughs> Not this jack. No, but yeah, the, not that the jack. The wheel jack. So yeah. if you do have a standard setup, you can still access your normal jack, or you can use this for storage for something else if you want to. Yeah. So that this is your normal jack just goes straight into the compartment there, and you still got a bit of storage there, even though that's in there. But then I think we might be rocking a different setup. So we'll see what goes, what happens. We might leave that open and use that for more storage of different things. But uh, we won't know until we, we get into it a bit further on and start packing it up properly. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll just leave it as for now. But really cool. Look at that for a precision, though. So good. These guys have done such an outstanding job. It's worth every cent. Every, every cent. cent. It's amazing. Oh, no. Look at my shirt. The oil. So cool. You happy as. Oh, yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. We've fully installed the drip. <laughs> well, there you go. It's all done. So, what is the time now? It is one o'clock, and we started this at what about nine? Yeah, nine o'clock. So, and about Jack in between, having a few sleeps and yep. feeding. Had to make a trip stuff. to the shop as well. I had to go to trade tools and pick up a couple yeah. of little last minute pieces that I didn't have. Um, but other than that, pretty simple. Seriously, a really, really simple setup. Yeah. I think I used the 10mm socket for about 90% of the whole setup. <laughs> like they're just all the same size bolts. They were all existing and a holes. 16mm on yeah. the car bits. Yeah, to get the seats out of the car. But other than that, like literally talk about minimal tools yeah. to get something off. And put back in so just easy yeah just easy. the the sheer quality the thought and the measurements that going into this thing is just second to none like yeah. for something that you can order online and do yourself at home really hard to beat really hard to beat for the price and the service that we've had is just yeah it's unreal so it's really cool like if you want to have the feeling that you've done it yourself and you've built it like mm. this is cool if you're not a you know carpenter carpenter yeah yeah if you're not a carpenter and you don't do this stuff on a day-to-day -day basis. Like we learn the hard way with the canopy, yeah. just how much work this actually takes. So they've taken out the hard bit of work for you, but you yeah. still get to feel like you built it and you know everything about the system. Yeah, 100%. Mm. Um, definitely check them out, Corby Fitouts. Um, they got all sorts. This is more their basic setup, I guess. Uh, it's called the low profile setup. Mm. So they've got this version. If you want to have someone else is using tools around here, I thought we were on holiday. <laughs> Um, there's the low profile, so it has no additional storage up the top. And then there's, I can't remember the exact names of them. I'll put them in down the bottom, but then you've got another system which has an extra shelf on it. Mm. And a third system, which also has a storage rack, like a, it's that like comes a down, down rack. yeah, like yeah. a netting kind of thing. So yeah, have a look on their website. If you mm. need more storage and what's here, they do have other options with the full caging and everything as well. But we like the low profile look where you've not got much in here, but you've got lots in here in a sense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we'll, cool. we'll definitely give a good test out over the next uh, coming months and whatnot, yeah. and really give it a good workout, as you guys know. We'll, yeah. We'll, we like to test our gear as much as possible, but um, yeah, definitely top quality gear. Give them a check out. Yep. And I hope you enjoy this install. And actually, before we end this episode, we we're going to tell them about our GVM stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Let's head around the front of the car. Yeah. We'll um, let's have a chat about Nissan's. 
Two of the main questions we've had come up in the first episode of this series is around fuel consumption and people want to know what our fuel consumption is like and what it'll be like towing as well. So the car itself has done about 62 k so far. So we honestly have no idea. We're still learning the car ourselves. We've done a lot of research and the figures look good through the research, but we will tell you exactly what it is for us as we go through this build process and learn more about it. But in the meantime, something I can tell you about is with our GVM, the ATMs, the GCMs, all the weights based around this car. So Nissans are known to be difficult around their GVMs and brake towing capacities because usually your GVM has to reduce depending on what your tow ball weight is. So what I want to show you, I'm going to put a pan in just here of this label on the side of the door. So this Nissan is able to take a maxed max braked capacity of three and a half ton there are no restrictions on this car anymore so it used to be that if your tow ball weight was 250 kilos you had to reduce your gvm by a certain amount if your tow ball was 275 kilos you had to reduce it by a certain amount you no longer have to do that with this car the other thing that this label shows you is that the genuine nissan tow bar which is what we have and what we have installed is three and a half ton and the max download on that tow ball is 350 kilos so looking at the actual tow ball and the pin itself there's a label on here as well and this says please refer to the maximum towing loads label on the driver's side door column as to these specifications so again going back to this label on the side of the door there is no GVM reductions in place dependent on your tow ball weight with this car. So we can have a car that weighs 3.5 ton and a caravan that weighs 3.5 ton with the tow ball weight included as a part of the car weight, the car GVM, and we are legal. So please, you know, look into it. If you're looking at getting a patrol and you've been told that your GVM is going to be affected, reconsider because they've changed their car to suit people like people need to be able to tow people need the weight and that label was making it really hard for a lot of people uh, the other thing that we need to take into account as well of course is the front axle weight and the rear axle weights so the PAWs we are totally aware of those weights and with all of our mass when we're looking at front bars when we're looking at rear fit outs when we're looking at everything we've done including fuel including passengers including a roof rack including lighting like we have gone into detail and we really have looked at every kilo so when we're putting this car together we're going to be weighing it a few times along the way and see how we're going because what you read in a brochure and what an actual weight of an item is can change and we're aware of that and we don't want to be over limit we want to be legit so thank you guys for giving us all your comments and your concerns around the nissans and stuff but it's awesome that they've changed the Series 5 and there are no longer those restrictions in place. So please keep that in mind when you're looking at a Series 5 for yourself. And if you've got any questions at all, please chuck them in the comments, send us something through our socials, any of those avenues. You know, we really want to talk to you more about this and help you if you're looking at getting a Y62 for your future travels.